Big consulting firms are blowing the AI growth opportunity in the cloud. Here's why and what you need to consider if you're a client that's depending on these firms for success. So welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider. My name is Dave, let's get started. Over the past decade, the promise of artificial intelligence has dominated boardrooms and consulting reports, yet the results haven't matched the hype. Major studies now show that an astonishing 95% of enterprise AI projects are failing to deliver real business value. Instead of transformative outcomes, many organizations are left with expensive pilots, flashy demos, and little measurable ROI. So why is this happening? especially as so many projects are led by the world's top consulting firms. In this video, I'm going to break down the core reasons behind the dismal success rate and what truly needs to change for AI to deliver lasting transformation. So I have to be a bit careful here because I, I obviously, you know, have a lot of contacts in some of the larger consulting firms out there. I have a lot of friends and, you know, prior colleagues and uh, clients of larger consulting firms. But I'm noticing this is something that's a bit more than a trend. Now, everybody's heard of the MIT study where they, they came up with actually something that I've seen for a while, where the majority, 95% of the AI projects out there are failing to return ROI. Notice that's the key metric that needs to be considered. It's not just getting something up and running. I think that's fairly easy. But the ability for that something to, in essence, return value back to the business, and that's what we're missing. And what I'm noticing as we're, you know, ending 2025 and moving into 2026 is that the number of failed AI projects out there typically run on cloud-based platforms is out of control. And I think this should be a bigger scandal than it is. I think people just kind of glossed up, okay, yeah, 95% are failing, we get it. And yet the investment is still being made in many of these dysfunctional processes and some, some of the under talent folks that are delivering this stuff. So I'm doing, seeing a couple things right now. now. In other words, I'm seeing reports like the MIT report that's showing me a very dismal record in terms of ROI from some of these AI projects. The other thing I'm seeing is firsthand, I'm actually auditing you know, many of these projects. In other words, I'm under NDA working with large global 2000 companies that are trying to figure out why their AI projects are not bearing fruit and I'm finding many of the same patterns. So the good news is this is fixable. <laughs> the bad news is we got to be willing to understand that we have a problem before we're able to move forward with the fixes. So let's break it down. The vast majority of enterprise AI projects fail because they prioritize technology solutions over solving genuine business problems. And this is really kind of the core reason why people are failing. The interest is in, as it's been in cloud computing and service-oriented architecture and edge computing, you know, and every, you know, major trend that has occurred over the last 30 years that I've seen in my career, the focus is never on the business problem. The focus is always on the technology. It's on generative AI, it's on agentic AI, and how people are going to leverage this technology specifically uh, for their use case. So they talk about the technology first and then talk about the business problem after that. And they, they really, uh, you know, do some dysfunctional stuff and they attempt to fit the business problem, you know, into the technology pattern, which is not the way you do it. You need to understand the business problem first and then back the appropriate technology into it, as always. But that doesn't seem to be a lessons, lesson that's being learned out there, certainly by the enterprises, but more surprisingly so by the large consulting firms out there. They're getting paid a handsome penny uh, to get many of these AI projects off the ground and get them successful. And yet they're doing the same thing. They're focused on gimmicks. They're focused on pilot projects. They're focused on technology value and technology hype rather than figuring out what the common use cases are and the problems that actually need to be solved. So next would be consulting-led AI initiatives where fre they frequently focus on impressive demos rather than creating real business outcomes. Uh, this is the pilot project mentality that's, that's on right now. And so in other words, instead of looking at the business outcomes that they need to consider, they're focused on making their pilot project successful, which doesn't really prove anything. It just proves that the technology works. I know the technology works. I've seen it. Most technology works just fine. However, 
there's only going to be a single configuration of technology that's going to return the optimized business value back to your enterprise. And that's what seems to be missing out there right now. So we're getting into the gimmicks. We're getting into the, uh, you know, pomp and circumstance of it all and not getting down to focusing on what the technology needs to do, the business outcomes. And that's why enterprises are complaining directly to me. And that's why I'm auditing all these projects because they're not seeing the value coming back, you know, from their many millions of dollar of dollars of investments they made in the last couple of years. And if they don't see it, they're not going to move forward with this, with this stuff. And in many cases, the big consulting firms are the ones that are making many of the decisions and are driving many of the dysfunctional outcomes. So as a result, many AI efforts uh, become stuck in what we call pilot purgatory, never scaling due to lack of integration and business alignment. And what they're doing is they're building their AI system, either generative or agentic or both, um, into a silo where it's not necessarily integrated with their key data assets. In other words, it has no data to train upon. So while they can get everything running within the silo within a very contained domain, when they push it into production, production for the business, there's nothing there to deliver value. It's not integrated with the core, uh, core data sources. It's not uh, integrated into the orchestration of the business processes. It's not integrated into the inventory systems, their ERP systems, their sales automation systems. And therefore, ultimately, it can't deliver any kind of value for the client, for the business. And that seems to be a common pattern. So I can't believe I'm saying this in 2025, but it, it's worth saying again, uh, truly transformative AI solutions require deeply understanding client needs and aligning with specific business goals. Can't stress that enough. And I'm not sure why the business has fallen out of favor in terms of what you look at first before applying the technology. But I think what is happening now is that the consulting firms are so focused on frameworks and processes and uh, technology bundles that they created around, you know, certain partner, uh, you know, partner deals that they have that the business goals seem to be secondary. And so in other words, it's pushing a particular technology pattern, technology framework that is being marketed as solving all business problems. And therefore, whatever business problem you have, we're going to be able to solve it. That's never going, never going to be the case. And I think that's why we're seeing lack of some of the ROI gains that are occurring out there is because people are doing square pegs round holes with many of these different frameworks and different technology offerings, and it's not working. And Further, it's not working, you know, at a cost of five to 10 times that of a traditional systems. AI is extremely expensive. It takes specialized processors. If you're running on a cloud, it's extremely, um, you know, resource intensive. Um, that's all fine if you're able to solve a particular business problem where those resource source expenditures will be able to pay for themselves. But what's what's happening now, they're just using technology for technology's sake. And that, that never ends well. That seems to be a common problem. We seem to come back to about every, you know, five to 10 years, and we're seeing it right now in a big way. And in, in my big bugaboo, the reliance on technical success metrics instead of business impact causes misaligned priorities and disappointing results. This is the it work stuff. <laughs> in other words, you know, auditing projects, I look at this and I then. I say, okay, are you using an agentic-based framework, you know, to solve an inventory depletion problem or a supply chain integration problem? And it's not necessarily delivering the value. And the team will come back with this comeback. Well, it works. <laughs> okay, I get it. It works. You can make anything work, so it work with enough time and money, you know, but is it optimized to return business value? Is it finding a particular use case where the AI systems are going to generate revenue for the company, going to generate value for the company. And that's what's missing now. And if you look at the MIT report, it's gotten bad out there. Never have I seen in my career 95% failure rate uh, in terms of failing to return ROI back to the business. That's hugely disappointing. That's basically people who are not trying and in many cases, the big consulting firms are leading some of these projects, and I think they're leading many of their clients in the wrong direction. I don't necessarily blame them. They kind of build a culture around what the leadership is telling them to do. And so at some point in time, they came out and said, generative AI or agentic AI is going to be our focus right now. We need to make investments in skills and training and frameworks and, you know, marketing buzzwords and, you know, gimmicks, you know, so to speak, to get a foothold into the market. In doing so, they're creating more bad than good because 
they're creating shiny objects that both their clients and the consulting firms are focusing on. It's never getting back to the essence of the business problems that they're looking to solve. Now, what I'm suggesting is rather boring. What I'm suggesting is don't create gimmicks, don't create frameworks, don't create architecture, you know, create um, business approaches where you're able to understand the core business values, business metrics that need to be implemented using whatever technology and to see, number one, if AI is a fit, it may not be a fit every time because it's incredibly expensive for what you're getting. And if it is a fit, how do you implement it in a way that's going to guarantee the return of value metrics back to the business? And that's a tougher putt, you know, so to speak. Everybody kind of gets bummed when I, you know, talk about that because you're going to have to figure out deep, you're going to have to have a deep understanding of the business, deep understanding of what constitutes value, a, di a deep understanding in terms of how you get into financial metrics. Uh, but I don't see you solving the problem any other way. So unfortunately, it's not an easy problem. It's a hard problem to solve. You can't throw technology at it. And if you do throw technology at it, you're just going to spend way more money you need to spend to solve the same issues. And you're not going to see ROI that comes back. And I think this is truly going to be a business killer for many of the organizations out there that are spending way too much money and not getting any return on their investment. So the final point, for AI to succeed, the industry must shift from hype-driven projects to true partnerships and outcome-focused innovations. So if the consulting firms out there want to help their clients and the clients want to be helped, and you could be a consulting firm, you know, person watching this video now or someone who's uh, consuming consulting or considering consuming consulting, you got to do things differently. So we need to focus on the core reason that we're even moving to technology. And I've been a technologist for the last 30 some odd years and doing the thought leadership and stuff and written 17 books on enterprise technology. The focus should never be on the technology assets that are out there. You know, whether it's a genetic AI, generative AI, you know, AIG, and there's a bunch of other hype words that are queued up. They're going to come in after, you know, these systems and the investments are being made. Now we're always going to have, very exciting technology to leverage to bring value to the business. The core question needs to be and always needs to be what permutation of technology, what technology patterns are correct, whether it's AI or not or cloud or not, they're going to address, uh, correct the core needs of my business. And unfortunately, no one's asking a question when I bring it up in meetings and bring it up in presentations. Um, I'm not getting excited results, you know, re reactions about that. I'm getting confusion because Everybody's so focused on the technology, they don't understand why somebody is not. So the path to meaningful AI transformation requires a fundamental shift from technology first thinking to business first action. That's a good summary of this video. So enterprises and consultants need to focus on understanding core business objectives, integrating AI where it creates measurable impact and defining success through real business results. It's not any more complex than that. And I think that many people who try to uh, look at uh, shortcuts uh, into this business value, typically through technology that they consider game changing. And, 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 and don't, don't get me wrong, I think that the innovation in the AI space is huge. I've been focusing on it you know, as a discipline for a long time and you know, focusing on it with my other channel. What's missing is the links between the technology and business value. And it's not just a little problem. It's not just a medium problem. It's killing us. In other words, the consulting firms out there are ruining many of the businesses one pilot project at a time. I'm seeing it happen right in front of my eyes. I'm auditing these projects. I'm providing advice to Global 2000 companies that are consuming both the technology and both the consulting hours. Now, I'm one person. You know, I can't go out there and change the world just by doing videos like this. So, you're going to have to take this message back to your enterprise. You're going to have to take this message back to your consulting firm that let's focus on the fundamentals. Let's stop focusing on the shiny objects finally, because this is not going well. So don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos on this channel. Also check out my InfoWorld Cloud Computing blog, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses, and of course, my generative AI architecture course out on Go Cloud Careers. And finally, my latest book, an insider's guide to cloud computing. So until next week, you guys stay very, very safe. Later.